Hey guys, it's me, Eric RPG, and I'm playing another game, and it's, I know it's been a while, but finally back into the swing of things. I'm doing a blind LP this time. This is from Naxat Soft. Naxat. Yeah, Naxat! Huh, that's nice, for 1995. Mmm. Some fantasy world. Hmm, a dinosaur and a thingy. Oh no, bad things can happen. Uh oh. That sounded like a Zelda sound effect. Despite the fact there were explosions, I don't see any wrecked buildings. Lazy developers. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, why are we in a completely different location? Who's this doofus? The hat's ugly. Uh oh, it's gonna rain. Heavy rain. Well, to be honest, it's actually semi blind. I played ahead of time just to see if I wanted to play this game. I had originally thought about doing a first run. So I don't die so many times, but you get to see all my embarrassing mistakes and reloads. Well, you probably see that anyways, but yeah. This is Holy Umbrella, Dun Daughter's Wild. The subtitle is not listed here, because I don't know, they couldn't fit it. But, uh, this game's made by Earthly Soft and Accept Soft, apparently. And there's a copyright for Motoki Kaku and Tatsuya Igawa. This may or may not actually be based on a manga, but oh well, let's keep playing. So uh, I've got a new game. I copied my old file. So we're just going to select a new game here. Let's give it a name. I don't know. What should I name him? Oh, I think I know. Well, I can't put Eric RPG, so it's just gonna have to be Eric R. Like a pirate. I'm not entirely sure if the main character has a name, or if it's just based on what you call the file, so it's gonna be really weird. I suppose he prepared well because he got a hat, at least. But he didn't prepare well enough because he didn't have an umbrella. Haha. <laughs> oh, it was the light from the other world. So, yeah, it's one of those games. Definitely not Valis. Sweet! I wouldn't pick up something I just found on the ground because a flash of light hit the ground. Unless, I assume that was a flashlight that was on the umbrella. Whoa! I almost forgot that he said that. What just happened? I like how it has a nice little hilt like thing. So it almost looks like a sword.
Sorry if I'm going too fast, but you can always pause the video. It's nice that he's talking to himself since he doesn't have anybody else to talk to. And he's explaining things, because there's no voice acting. He thinks he sees. Oh, and it's a robot with a tank for a body. Dun da da! Tank! Yeah. What the hell, dude? Your mouth went crazy. And we actually have to fight this guy. Although we don't have to win. I shall obliterate you! Ah. So yeah, we're not supposed to win. <laughs> Finishing blow, miracle super deluxe technique, fire! Yeah, who did that? <laughs> What's with the overemphasis with the dialogue here? Are they, uh, I don't know, are they trying to replicate actual voice acting? It normally would be bad English, though. It's an old man and a bird. That kind of looks like a penguin. Army. Yeah. A tank would imply army. Horse. Always a crazy... Anybody who wants to take over the world's insane, because taking over the world's impossible. And, and what would you do once you quote-unquote take over the world? Chance. Yeah, the name of the world. Thurgical. That sounds a lot like thermotaji, which implies magic. <laughs> a cartoon or a game? Jesus, game self aware. Yeah, if I was from this world, I'd think he's talking nonsense too. A <laughs> comic book bird. I like how they just accept this because magic world with magic things, it's not outside of the realm of possibility because when you have make-believe, anything's a go. As the infidel guy that said, used to say when he still had a show. That's why I don't get it when people complain about having time travel in something that previously didn't have time travel in a work of fiction. Because, you know, fiction. Unless you're complaining about how a specific work of fiction had a set of rules and then they kind of just insert new rules, but I still maintain fiction. You could do anything at once. I'm actually playing with the DualShock 4, because there are drivers for it, and then 
in addition, I'm using some program that lets me use it as an X input so that some games will work with it better. It still doesn't have Rumble support, though. So we gotta go to third to Coles. A jewel! Yay. So we pretty much can just leave the level if we're getting too beat up. This game's not terribly hard, though. At least in the beginning areas. I don't know what it's gonna be like later. What's your name, mister? Keylorn. Eric, yeah, see. Mm. I knew that was a bad idea, but I need to differentiate between my other file. So this is the first level, Road to Thurgical. Probably gonna play up to the point when we get to the castle. So yeah! He kinda moves slow, but that's okay. It's a typical platformer. I like the music, though. Those hearts obviously give you health, but I haven't needed any yet. Yeah, there's really no point. There's no experience to be gained in this game. That's even though it's an action RPG. Theatrical City. Yeah, we're gonna explore the city. I kind of want to do the first level, but uh, I don't know. So we're gonna explore here. So this is the RPG portion of the game comes in. No, tell me. Yeah, he kind of just told me that. Yeah, we can expect various things here. Just expect every barrel and pot in this game, because unlike certain games where they just put things for show, there's plenty of hidden items. Maybe I'll do the first level after all. Yeah, let's see. Full meds. Yeah, we don't have nearly enough money for that. It's cheaper to get the... It's cheaper to get this one for now. But no, we could probably get some later. Yeah, you can even check toilets. So this is not entirely a medieval game, because they have toilets, so they have plumbing. I don't need to know that, but we're going to go over them anyways. A to hook, B to jump, Y to attack, and items with X. By hook, they mean there are hooks you can use to swing with the umbrella. Only with this character, though. Wonder why he called me Gumshoe. Yep, you get you can set your item and then you can hit it with X. I'm pretty sure you use L and R to switch your characters. Oh, submenu. So submenu or L and R. No. Yeah, we're going there next. Ah, we use sprites with different colors. Find a sign, press up to read tints. Yeah, so typical control stuff. Nothing here. You can even check the beds. I forgot about that. I don't think most beds have anything, though. There is an extra life extension you can get here, though. 
Aha! Money! You can also stay at the inn to recover your health. I don't think it costs very much, and I don't think the price increases terribly from each area. So yeah, this is a priest. And a uh, church. It's locked! Damn it. We can actually get it much in a bit, but not right now. Ah, so Keyword uh, teaches the princess, apparently. Nothing here. Toilet time. Forget exactly where all this stuff is. Get out of here. Strength orb. So yeah, now we have six hearts. Hmm. More money. Bontos. Yeah, he's telling me that that bird character, which we can play as, can do, do double jumps. So, you'll use different characters to get through different areas of the levels. Check it the toilet again. Yep, that's kind of what grandmas do. Kind of what moms do, too. Gee, you think? I should defend the princes. Uh, he sounds like a creeper. Yeah, some of these houses have the similar designs, but I trust that they're all different. Because you can get different things here. Apparently you can't check sinks in this game. Money. Can't check tables. Ah, I found money in a toilet. How wonderful. With all that money I just picked up, I can probably afford that full meds. Although, I probably should save my money. Hmm. 
There's one area we can check around here. Go all the way around. Wait, wait, that wasn't it. I wanted to go over here. Get that chest. Yeah, there's where we go. Can't check lamps either. More money! An endurance orb. So yeah, this is how you increase your stats. You just find orbs. No leveling up required. Just gotta explore. So let's go to the castle. Some stuff's gonna happen soon. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh no! Bonto! Oh no! Wait, after he destroyed it? So what, did they have more of them? Or did they get fixed up? Gilzia Valley. Captain Lawback. Something tells me you're incompetent, though. Kinda looks like a Shining Force character. Like, Gong. Oh, he's crying. I actually kind of feel bad for him now, and I, even though he sounded like a jerk before. The master. Wh what? Yeah, I'm no warrior. I, I. Okay. It's enough with the waterworks, please. Yeah, I mean, kind of forced the fight. Yeah, we got party members. No silly fanfare required. So yeah, going back to the surgical city for a second. I can't actually get that chest until after the first level. And you'll always know where the hotel is by just going here. So yeah, probably going to buy that potion. You know this is only restores half, five hearts. You can just wait until I have only have one left. So just... Mm-hmm. Don't have enough for that, though. I'll save up for that later. But yeah. Once you, uh... That's a kind of a resurrect potion that automatically heals you when you die. And only does it once per level, though. And once you use it, it's gone. That's why. Once per level. So let's actually play a level. This won't take long, the level's pretty short. Alright, wrong attack button. That was the hook button. Which we use here! Ow! I can't believe I'm doing this terribly. Yeah, so we're somehow invincible when I do that. I don't 
know how. I'm just doing her tor terribly here. I just better start playing it safe. What was the point of that? see it working is that yay an extra heart we're already a couple hearts in Get up there. Oh, right, I forgot. Swap. An extra attack point. So yes, that's exactly what we need. Gliding roach. So yeah, we can glide now. You can't actually move on until you pick it up. Otherwise you'll get stuck. I haven't been reading these, but yeah. It tells you how to do it. Although it's kind of tricky. You kind of have to... Do it at the height of your jump. Oh wait, I got an idea. I'm gonna get that heart piece. Yeah, I don't risk it. I need to... Hmm. Crap. Screw it. You can attack with the bird, I just don't want to fight with him because he kind of sucks. Maybe if I had a little bit more height. Fit through tight spaces, so that's a good thing. Damn, I just. Mm.
I think there is something up there, but... Oh, wait. We got that before. Uh... Whoa, he just took out two hearts. Ah! Seriously, that's terrible. I'm doing terrible here. Oh, right, I forgot about that, too. Ugh. I'm doing awful here. I told you it su I'd suck. Oh, no overhead swing. That's lame. Birdies. And that was a waste of time. I really need those two. Finally. Boss fight time. Gurn, done that a tank. This boss is pretty simple. You fools. Yes, I do. And he's dead, haha. <laughs> Not again, I lost. I mean, flies away. Uh, oh, he's okay. Ugh. Master, I'm so glad you're all right. What? <laughs> yeah, you're kind of late. Yep, but we took off. Ha! <laughs> yep. Don't get cocky. Why? Why do you need to tell her that? 
Okay, let's find out what's going on. This video is going to be a little bit long because, well, it's the first video. And plus, my videos tend to be long anyway. Yeah, we saved the master. Yeah, I know there's flashing at the very top of the screen going on right now, but that's okay. Princess! She almost looks Japanese with her dress. Yeah, you could say that. Or the tank guy had a really basic pattern. I don't know if he's a monster because he's a robot. Emperor Dundara! Uh oh. Surgery's old, seal! Typical JRPG shit. Horde of Monsters. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I want to go back to the world that I came from. What do you mean, in your current state? Ah... Wait, why is your power tied to the seal? So, basically, we just have to take care of Tundra. Keylorn's resting at the end. So, that's where we're going next. Next time on... Don, or Holy Umbrella, Dondara's Wild. See you guys later. Bye-bye.